Ooh, ooh, ooh. <sighs> they choose me as a hot nigga, boy. What's up, guys? It's me a chef from off Dome back here for another video. And today we're talking about will Bobby Smurder still be hot, 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 hot once he get out of prison in either late 2020 or early 2021 as they're projecting? My answer is no. See, a lot of people claim that they like him because he didn't fold, he didn't bend, he stole 10 toes down. But the truth of the matter is, when you look at his content and what he was working before he went to prison, I'm sorry to say this, a lot of you guys are not going to like this, but I don't think the dude would have been around in 2015 or 16 without the prison arrest and all that. Yes, he had one of the hottest rap songs of 2014 and early 2015 with Hot Nigga. It was hot. He had a dance. He had the nation doing the dance. They still do the dance every time they come to the club. They dance to that twerk song he has. Bitch, go and sit that ass with his tip. And also the ooh song sampled that. It had a spacey vibe. So it was a wave. He did have a wave. But just like Chief Keith, he had a wave. But he isn't as hot as he used to be. There's a such thing as having a wave and you being the originator of this wave or sound and you not being the hottest. You know, there's plenty of people you could point to that. So, I mean, Wale had a way of being the poetic rapper in the 2010s, but Drake went ahead and just went leaps and bounds above him. Okay? I mean, Hobson has the way of being the technically sound underground rapper spinning bars of fire. But Kendrick and J. Cole and other rappers have become way hotter than him. And personally, I don't think sometimes they don't have as much quality content as Hobson does. It just happens. Tara Wax is a better rapper than the majority of these female rappers, but it's because she's not marketable sexually, Megan Thee Stallion will continue to be the best female rapper out in the game right now. That's just how it goes. So being the founder of the wave or being the best of the wave doesn't mean you'll be the hottest. Now, he's five to almost six years removed from, no, six years removed from 2014, but I give him 2015 to get arrested and sentenced because Hot Nigga was on the chart from, 2014 to early 2015. So it's been a solid four and a half years since he's been free, basically. And what would we have to go off it to show that he will be hot when he gets out? Yeah, think about this. When we talk about rappers going back and forth to prison, they're usually already established. Kodak Black had a bubbling fan base in South Florida and then all over the South and then all the clubs and the country are listening to songs. He had Skrilla. He had No Flocking. He had Skirt Skirt. He had multiple singers that people liked and that already went gold and platinum before he went in and out of jail and started getting mainstream publicity in early 2016-17. And even Kodak now, he's still pretty good in his popularity. Gucci Man, he established a whole empire of mixtapes before he went to prison. Lil Boozy had hits before he went to prison. And even when you talk about T.I. doing that bid in jail and Lil Wayne, these guys are megastars, way bigger than Bobby. It's going to hurt everybody to find out that YMW Melly may not be as popular as you think he will be when he gets out of prison if he beats his case. It may have been the same fate for TK. I don't see TK having a whole career if he would have got sentenced to not guilty. A lot of people have to say what it is. See, YMW Melly, Murder in My Mind, Mixed Personalities, charted, yes. But it charted as high because after he was arraigned for the murders, all of a sudden the song screaming went huge. And everybody thought that was a confession song. And everybody wanted to check it out. They wanted to see how cold and chilling he was. 223 is another track people gravitate to because of YMW Melly. They want him to be free. And once he's free, we got to support YMW Melly. I have a strong, strong feeling y'all won't because he had an album released by the label. And on the debut at number seven, it's not even doing that well in numbers about two months later. So, in all, Bobby Smyrna has a lot to face if he gets out of prison this year or next year. And I think it's going to be very sad to see the guy that everybody boosted up on social media all these years for not folding and saying they can't wait for him to come home. It's going to be very sad for them not to download or stream his new music or whatever he puts out if he decides to put anything out. But at the end of the day, it is good that he will get out because, you know, he deserves to be free. Although I don't like when people commit crimes and get lesser sentences. If you're going by the G-code and he didn't snitch, he didn't tell, and he got his, him and his um, partners lesser time and they all served the time together. At least you appreciate his loyalty. That's why I appreciate it. I don't appreciate them doing the crime, but I appreciate the loyalty he had to his friends and whoever he helped do these crimes. Because at least you're not trying to get out easy like 6 9 did. Now, unfortunately, you have to realize that 6 9 by taking this deal and getting out earlier, it gives him a better advantage because he's still hot. And he'll be able to make music before his popularity declines like Bobby Smurders might. Anyway, 
Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's your man, Chef from Off The Dome. I make new videos three times a week on three different days. I might drop two videos today on Monday. It depends what type of music, news, or media we have. And I'll also be reviewing Justin Bieber's song, possibly, in the next few days. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's your man, Chef from Off The Dome. Peace out.